Welcome to this tutorial on how to configure the UI Builder login prompt. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up the UI Builder login prompt as opposed to using the Windows username to detect what the user's name is in the UI Builder Enterprise Edition. First, we'll open our administration form. We want to go to the Manage Users button. And down at the bottom, you'll see two options on how users log in. The first is the user's NT login, which is effectively their Windows login. So if you use this, the username up here will correspond to that individual's user's name in Windows. And so when they start up UI Builder, UI Builder will try to find a corresponding record for that user's Windows username. The alternative is to actually present users with a login prompt. If you choose this path, what will happen is every time the database starts up, a small username and password login prompt will be displayed, and the user will have to enter in a username, which might be different than their Windows username, and then the password. We'll switch to that mode. You'll get a warning message that notifies you you'll need to make certain you read the UI Builder security guide for information on how to manage passwords. The passwords are encrypted in the database. Now the first thing we'll do just to demonstrate this is I'm going to go ahead and create two new user records. User1 and I'm going to assign them roles. And for that second one give them an administrator role. Now down here you can delete a user or you can reset their password. By default, by creating these two users, their password when they first log in will be their username and then 999 after it. So now let's go ahead and we'll close the database and reopen it. And now we're presented with a login prompt. So user1 is the username and user user1999 will be their default password. User is prompted to enter a new password. And in this case, they're a business user, so they'll see a different menu than if we log out. And here you can see that user 2 is assigned as an administrator role. Now there are quite a few other things you'll want to be aware of when you're trying to secure your Microsoft Access database. The UI Builder, user level menus, and login prompt are not in themselves a fail-safe security mechanism. Other things are limiting a user's ability to use special keys to open up the database window or to access other parts of your application, as well as following other online security tips that you can find on our site. If you need to switch back to using the Windows NT login as the way to detect a user, you just simply select the user's NT login checkbox here and it will return back to uh, attempting to detect the Windows username as opposed to presenting a login prompt. If you need to reset someone's password, click reset password and it's now back to that individual's username and 999. This concludes the tutorial on configuring the UI Builder login prompt. Thanks and enjoy using UI Builder.